Adam Booth, Upshift Online. This is a Tenere T7. Now this looks a little different than the stock one you're used to. The guys at Upshift wanted to take your basic T7, which is a very hot motorcycle right now. It's simple, it's fun, and it performs. And they wanted to spruce it up, make it better off-road, make it more exciting, add some cool stuff, and obviously make it look amazing. If this look of this motorcycle kind of takes you back if you're a little older and you get some feelings of nostalgia, it's probably because it's based off some styling of mid-80s Dakar bikes. So yeah, it looks like a race machine. So with a bike this nice, this good looking, you don't want to keep it that way, especially if you drop it or fall and if you really ride off road. So the Outback MotorTech crash guards are very important. I'd put a crash guard on any bike this big because I'm going to drop it, I'm short. Also the skid plate's going to protect the engine. That thing's pretty beefy and gnarly. Uh, speaking of somebody who's not super tall, me, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, depending, um, this seat concept seat is really bitching and it's a little lower. So it gives you a little, uh, little more room to touch the feet when the ground gets a little uneven, which I appreciate. Obviously you can get a medium seat, you can get a taller seat depending on your height, but in my 5'8", five, 5'9", five, range, I, I love the lower seat. This seat concept seat is also great when you're going to be on the bike for a long time, all day, multi-day trips. It's super comfy and uh, your booty will thank you. So the cockpit on the T7, we changed it up a little bit. We went with a pro taper handlebar, a little less sweep, a little more moto style. Um, with that, we did some pro taper grips just to change it up. They're very comfortable. Um, any bike we have, dual sport, adventure, we got to put the double take mirrors. Quick adjust, get them out of the way. When you put them into position, they don't vibrate from the wind, they don't vibrate from the motor. They just, they're some of the best mirrors we've ever used. So the fast foot pegs are a little wider than stock, a little bigger than stock. They have a, like a absorbent layer in them to take a little vibration out, add just that slight bit of comfort. Protecting the hands, gotta have full wrap hand guards. A bike like this, if you drop it and you don't have a full wrap, your lever's snapping, your throttle tube's gonna snap. So we have these Cherubis full wrap hand guards on here and they look pretty sweet. So just to mix it up and go with a little more quality, we changed out the stock levers. Uh, in Yamaha's bid to make this thing affordable, there are little shortcuts. They're not bad stock, but they're not great. So we found some, uh, some levers we liked and we threw them on there. So the go-to tire right now at Upshift for us is the Dunlop 908 Rally Raid Rear. This thing is awesome. The front is a 606. These are still street legal, DOT approved, but they work really well off-road and they, they offer good traction kind of everywhere. So it's a good mix of everything and we really love them on our adventure bikes right now. While these stock wheels are working well for us now, the next upgrade for us is gonna be a set of W wheels. They look good, they're stronger, and obviously they're gonna last longer. So one massive, big, huge, tremendous upgrade to this bike is the suspension. Yamaha did a great job with the T7. This thing's kind of off-road feel, but still does well on the road. It's got kind of the moto triple clamps, moto feeling suspension but we wanted a little stiffer. We wanted a little more control over the oil movement inside those suspension components. So we sent it off to Race Tech. They installed their gold valves front and rear. Uh, they tuned the, the suspension the way they like it. And then they also went up on the spring rates. So it went up on the front and up on the back. And then they can control how the bike is balanced through their valving a little more too. So we're excited to uh, give that some time. So we broke in the Race Tech suspension up in Idaho for a bit, ran it through some desert hoops, smashed through it, got some action moving, and overall so far, just the balance of the bike and the ability to hold up on the big G outs has improved greatly. We can't wait to like ride it more today and feel that out. Um, already just pushing on it, sitting on it, we know that it has a little more, uh, a little more oomph to it and wants to go a little faster in the big bumps. So the T7's an awesome bike stock. There's not a lot of complaints. One of the, the weak points on the T7 is the brakes. Sometimes they feel a little mushy or they're not just as powerful as other models or just super gnarly. So what we did is we went with Galfer rotors, Galfer pads, and steel braided brake lines to boost up the braking performance, give it a little more snap, and just overall more power. So Chris over at Upshift has done, he does graphics for a lot of bikes. I don't know if you guys follow, but he does some cool looking stuff. This graphics kit is awesome, inspired 1987 Dakar makes this bike look sick. So it's gonna be available if you have a T7 and you want your bike to look like this, stay tuned because you will be able to buy this graphics kit for your T7. So with any race inspired bike, it's gotta look like a race bike and holy cow, look at this Yosh system. Full system, front to back, looks amazing, saves a ton of weight and it sounds like a race truck.
So initially we had a Yosh slip-on on our T7 and that saved a bunch of weight. It pepped it up, obviously it sounded better, but we wanted to go for the full system to see what it would do. Uh, right away, this thing saves over six pounds over a stock exhaust. Stock exhaust is a little over 18 and a half pounds, the whole entire system. And this Yosh system's just hair over 12 pounds, which is a huge savings. Because we ran a full exhaust system on this thing that's more opened up, we did tune the ECU. The CP2 engine on this has been around for a long time, so we were able to find a setting for an unrestricted exhaust with an open air box that we liked. So on a side note, the full Yosh system is closed course system. So another big weight savings on this bike was the swapping out of the stock battery to a firepower. It saves five pounds. That's a lot in just a piece of mass this big, plus it has more cranking amps. So part of uh, cleaning up the look of this bike, making it look a little more racy and smooth, is the Yoshimira turn signals and the, the cleanup kit on the back here. These turn signals are much smaller, more sleek, and they're still plenty bright for anybody to see it. All right, in the continuing quest to know where we're going and what we're doing, we bolted up the Garmin Zumo XT, tucked it up here behind the windshield above our normal dashboard on the T7. Uh, for street guys, turn-by-turn -turn navigation, for dirt guys, it kind of offers up everything everybody else does. Get you back to where you started, follow routes, just normal Garmin GPS stuff. All right, so as my mentor, Quinn Cody, once taught me, if it's downhill, eventually you'll find the bottom. I don't know if you'll make it back out, but I decided that that looked pretty easy down there. And so I dropped in and with a bike this big, you forget how much mass is going downhill. And, uh, and then when you drop it, it's really heavy, but you got to take into account the, the guards, the skid plate's really low. Luckily we had all this stuff on here. Um, yeah, that one makes you uh, pucker up a little bit. It's a little more work. You really have to think about your brakes because you can't just stab the front brakes on stuff like that because so much weight goes to the front wheel. All right, this is the Upshift T7 mod bike and holy cow, it's amazing. Look at this thing. It's a $10,000 motorcycle stock. We didn't rob any banks or do anything illegal to get enough money to do this stuff. This stuff isn't crazy expensive. I mean, the suspension's a little bit of a cost, but the overall performance gain is huge. I mean, hand guards, crash bars, it's kind of the normal stuff if you're gonna take your adventure bike off-roading that you would wanna buy and own anyway. The base price on this bike is very affordable. So for more information on anything we've talked about to check out these parts, there's links in the description. Uh, stay tuned to Upshift and enjoy.